Okay, so we're going to use white and grey for the next bit. So I'll just, I'm just going to, I can see this needs lightening up along here. It's looking a bit dull there. So we need to just lighten that up a bit. Obviously, it's it's got to contrast with white behind it. So it can't have too much white in it, but it needs to be more grey looking. So we'll just put the white over the, the grey and the blue to lighten it up a bit. We've got some flecks here Dumb them down a little bit Really, we're just blending over the white with the with grey here. It can let the hairs come over this because it looks quite nice, I think. That's it, keep those little areas in there.
I'm not blowing in there, I think. It's a darker, darker bit. Try the cover shaper now, I think. It's just blending it a little bit so it's a bit a bit greyer, a bit fluffier looking. But yeah, these are quite sharp, some of these. They look quite trying to hold the board still here. Yeah. Softens it all up a bit. down a little bit too much there I think that's too bring the white foot over that bit there a bit just put the white on that so So it goes, you just have to go back and forth a bit with the colours. This is how it always is. This is how I do it anyway. And we need some white hairs coming up here. Looking at this with new eyes from when I did it the other day. Get some stronger, stronger lines in. Soften up the bottom.
I just want to make this look a bit fluffier, this bit here. And use our colour shaper. Just soften it all up. And this blends darker back here. See, it kind of disappears a bit, really. So we've got a little bit of yellowy darkness in there. Just wiping this off, see, all the time, because it does pick up the colour. Look a bit more fluffy. So my picture it's got a kind of lilac-y look to it so I've put the blue on because it's there it's, it's in there it couldn't be just white it wouldn't have looked right yeah. so I would like to try a bit of pink in here see what happens on here. I've already done a lot of blending over this. It's looking quite good that bit. Like a white bit there. Okay, so what we're going to do Again, see how that goes. So, just working on the white first, so I'll just clean this off as best I can. That's it, that's better. And I can put some more white on it, make it look nice and fluffy. So there's, a, there's a bit of blue coming up there, there's a little patch there, made it whiter here, so I put that in. Dark patch there. white bits too much because I want them to stay nice and white, really white and you can put, see what happened there, you just put a darker line around them and it makes them look whiter and then we've got our little, we can put streaks, see it's got dark on the colour shaper, you can put streaks in for that
When you look at this close up, it's not just a mass, it's all different colours in there. Grey, white, blue, black. And you know, you just gotta just got to go for it. You know, just keep doing it till you're happy. Try and get it as best you can. I don't think you can go far wrong if you just copy the direction of the hairs, then it's going to be quite good. like that. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah. These white kind of light patches in again. Right. 
try and soften this up a bit. Last night what I just did with this is I just add it down a bit just to try and soften it all back. Um, it still looks grainy like it does in the picture. It's cooler. It's cooler than it was so I'm happy with it. I just want to just kind of do some squiggly stuff on here just to kind of maybe blend it with that you know, blend the darker bits in with the background a bit. Because it does have some little squiggly bits over it. It might not work, I'll just try it. See how it looks. It's worth a go. Everything you do to it will always help because it's building it up all the time. Um, I'll just make it look a bit more realistic and uh, a bit more complex. There are some kind of it's quite strong lines in there and I won't go mad on that, but it's just if you look at it very carefully, it's light right at the very tip there, but otherwise not. Things like this. That, that really helps to make things look more realistic. If you really just, you know, look hard, that's that's not so white. Looking at that again, you know, it's got the two little lines in it, but they're not really white. So I'll put them in, then knock them back a bit. That's how I tend to do things. I put things in and then soften them all up. And of course, you'll never get rid of everything you've done. Um, it'll all just still be there. And it all helps, all helps build it up. Let's get the pink on that. I just want to see what that does before our time runs out. I've just put the bell on for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, try my best to keep on track. So, let's see. See if I've guessed the time right. But the timer right here is going to go off soon, I think. Let's see. I just want to try and see if there's a slightly different colour here. Very, very gently, very, very slight. It's, it's almost indiscernible, in, and that's probably not the right word, but it's it's hard to see. Let's say that <laughs> with it even even easier. But it needs subduing down a bit, and as I say, it's more lilac-y, so I'm thinking that the pink is gonna is gonna do the trick. Um, I hope so. I hope it will. And there's some pink, pinky bits in here. So we've got that bit coming around there. And these are a bit pinky here. Just gives that bit of extra, bit of extra interest. Don't go mad. Doesn't need a lot. That's the other thing. Don't go mad. You know, I took put the pink in there and it just put that back in there. Just the little bits in here. These little bits, rather than going overboard with it, they really make a difference. They really do give it a nice feel to it all. I'm just going to dab that with my finger, I think, those pink bits. Just very gently. See, I'm not rubbing it, I'm just dabbing it. Just blends in the colour without taking off the other bits. I'm going to leave that and I think his paw would look so much better if we could um, uh, just, I'm just going to put a bit of pink in here, if we could just make that background black and I think I want to do that next actually before I go any further with anything. I'll just do the background black. I'm going to add a bit of a dark blue into it, this um, 151, I've got enough left I think, just about. And um, I'm going to have to use a black pencil around the whiskers, um, because I don't want to really lose these, so what I'll do is I'll just do those first, and then I'll just sketch it in.
I might even take this off the, the board and turn the picture around if I find it difficult at any point to make these really, look at that, they stand out so much better. So, you know, you've got to, you've got to be brave sometimes and really go for it. But I've used a lot of black backgrounds in my pictures and I just particularly like them. I think it just makes everything stand out nicely. Um, when you put the white over it, the white whiskers look amazing. The blue whiskers, look how much they stand out now. So much better. Just put it on gently. Just getting a base on at the moment. And then we'll add some blue into it. This is quite a sharp pencil I've got here at the moment. Hold this board still. But these uh, Faber Castell pencils are quite so hard that you can get a nice firm line in around the whiskers. With the softer pencils, they have a great pigment, but they're not so good for doing things like this. This really fine work because uh, they're a bit furry. You know, they're they're fluffy. a dark bit there see I'm gonna put that back in there I know we've got whiskers over it but you can still do a lot there with this it's coming from there isn't it it's a very soft line anyway Some hairs coming up there. What we'll do is we'll get this whisker in because I think this is a very good whisker. This bit will like that one. Whiskers are like that, you have to get lucky with them. And sometimes they come out lovely, other times they don't. Like I said before, just right. So I'm gonna just outline this. And then I'm going to soften it all up with the white going over the back. Make it look all nice and fluffy. Using the pencil on the side for this bit. Just filling it in. going in the direction of these fur, this fur is coming down like that, so that I can get the lines coming into the fur. And that's dark in there, that's that bit there. And we can go go over it like that now, just in little circles. So this is our mount line here, this white line. You can kind of go over that a bit, doesn't matter. Careful if your pencil gets a bit worn down, don't don't scrape it with the wooden part of the pencil. Just try and concentrate on that. It's not good, it'll scratch paper. And you'll always have those marks. You always have those marks in the background. Right, I'm gonna concentrate on this bit now because this is these hairs here, we can actually we've got to get this line coming like this. It's kind of coming right from the corner there, like that. 
doesn't matter if that, that hair's not the right angle, it's just that this bit here needs to be kind of right close there and then it's just coming out like that, that kind of angle. It's very, very slight there. That's it, then we've got the straight bit there, then we've got the white bit there. And we're going to put some more grey hairs in this black here. We'll do that after. This is quite, yeah, this bit here, just coming down there, that's kind of almost straight. It's not straight, but it, if you think of it as being straight and then do this, you'll get it better. Get it better. And it kind of comes just to that. It comes out a bit. Make sure you get that coming out a bit there. And yeah, then it's straight. Slightly in. You can see that. covered it up today so it's not so, so alarming as yesterday. I did jump out of my skin yesterday. Okay, let me just stop that timer and I'll just finish it off this little bit corner. That's it. You can keep this nice and dry. Then you've got a straight bit Something like that. That's a bit higher because we've gone over the we've gone over the line a bit here. The line is here. That's our mount line. Just make sure that's right. Just fill this corner in. Careful not to scrape it. Over the mountain line a bit. You can do this with a stick. It would have been a bit more fiddly though, because you've got to go in between the whiskers. Um, if I'm absolutely sure that I want to a background, I would do always do it first. If I'm not sure, and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this really, um, I thought we'd probably leave it so that, but I think it, if you want to leave it you can, it will still look good because it's a nice dark background, but if you want to try uh, to make it even more, give it more impact, I, I would do it in a dark colour. Um, you could do it in a really, really, really dark green to contrast with his eyes. Uh, or what I want to do is add a bit of blue into it to really keep that cool look. Um, it would be good next to the white, I think. We, do, we don't really need to do much in here. Maybe just make that a bit blacker there. That's yeah, that was clever, and I just went over his whisker there. But it's not the end of the world, look. Because look, got a nice sharp white there. Um, and actually, it's, you know, it's, it's very difficult to see, see it. Just go over it. That's all, that's all right. See how that brings the whisker right out rather than the grey. It really is, it really is good. I think this is why I like dark backgrounds because I do a lot of whiskers and they do look especially good on dark, 
dark backgrounds. They have a lot more impact. I've always liked even the old, you know, when you see these wonderful pictures in the museums and art galleries, a lot of those have dark backgrounds. And I've always liked that. You know, a lot of people portraits have dark backgrounds. It's a good look. Just pay attention to the shape of his fur there. You need to keep these strong lines. They're fluffy, but they're, they are very characteristic of this cat. You need to make sure that they're in. Just, you know, it's nice to do your own thing with the picture, but if you want to do pet portraits, if you want to get them really right, these are the things that you have to Pay attention to all these bits are so important. Whiskers a bit thick actually, isn't it? I'll thin it out a bit. And sometimes I do quite a bit of this thinning out whiskers. That's better, see much better. Just going to get a bit higher for this bit. Get a bird's eye view. Yeah, see this is where it gets a bit tricky. You know, if you need to get up a bit, you need, you need to get the picture off and, and um, you know, get properly into all these bits up here. I could probably do that up there, no problem. Anyway, I'm going to finish now, and then next time we'll. In fact, I might just carry on. We'll see. Just stop the. Sometimes I find it difficult to get the pencils out of my hand. I'm enjoying it so much. I, I, I find it difficult to um, stop. Uh, but I must stop. This has been good discipline for me because I know I'm videoing it. It's very good. Very, very, very good discipline. Stop.